Hello, I'm Rachel Wade, Strategic HR Consultant and Coach. And I've had a different start to my morning in that I committed to a, a given hour campaign. And it meant that I was contacted by a local school to be in Coventry, uh, Bishop, Bishop's Ullathorne School. And they asked us to come in as business owners or people in, in professional uh, roles. Um, or roles indeed, just to come in and play a bit of a game with the um, students who are in the region of 12 years old as part of uh, an inset um, session uh, looking at careers and opportunities that they might want to pursue in their futures. So it was a game um, called What's My Line and it was a session where it was quick fire questions uh, to me from the 30 odd pupils in the classroom and asking uh, questions that I could only answer yes or no to uh, which was quite interesting and fun and I had to put my mind in where they were at in thinking um, because one of the questions was um, do you have to deal with emergencies well yes of course in HR we do but I'm sure from their point of view they were thinking about emergency services so uh, another question was around um, do you deal with finances well yes I do as a business owner I deal with the finances of my business but also in HR I usually work with the owner of the business and the financial director uh, of the company to look at the budgets and to look at uh, what investment uh, we can make um, or maybe where we're looking at increasing profits within the business so uh, but again in a yes no game it had to really be no because directly I didn't want to take them down a the line thinking that I was an accountant so um, so th this happened three times over with three different classes 15 minute session with each and uh, really enjoyed the sessions at the end of each session um, they could then ask me some more questions so all in all out of the three sessions none of them guessed um, that I was uh, well one guessed that I was a director um, so of my own business um, but none of them guessed that it was human resources and HR consultancy specifically in coaching so uh, yeah really interesting so once I then gave a download of what I do and how I help um, businesses and I'm their outsourced HR, HR team that supports them in looking how they're recruiting talent into their business, how they're then managing people through their organisation and then also planning for future growth. So that entails embedding the essentials, so the handbooks, contracts and uh, policies and procedures. Then on to troubleshooting the problem. So what, what have we got as far as identifying performance issues or absence issues? So casework, uh, disciplinaries, uh, dismissals, and then uh, planning for future growth. So what does our organisation need to look like um, to be successful and profitable well into the future? Uh, and that can range from various projects to looking at organisational design, um, to talent acquisition, um, right through to learning and development and um, more so uh, I do coaching so coaching comes around when we're looking at high performance and uh, we've got people that uh, shine and we want to support their potential and uh, do that through coaching or the other way is through uh, poor performance so we may have some people that need some coaching to help them overcome whatever it is that's challenging them the barriers to helping them achieve their full potential and I guess the other side of that is I am a business owner so I've created OptHR as a business who supplies HR products and services to the market and that means that I have to uh, manage my business in all aspects um, so uh, yeah it was great fun um, I loved some of the suggestions that they thought I might be from a uh, CEO of a fashion design company very flattered at that or uh, the director of a uh, digital design agency um, so obviously they could see quite a creative flair from me um, which is, is great and then I uh, then detail back to them what are the important skill sets really and the, the threads really that are common throughout my career because I didn't really start my HR career until I was 26 and um, and that is the fact that I enjoy working with people uh, people is where where my focus is I enjoy problem solving um, you have to be great at communication and particularly listening um, 
and you have to be creative in uh, providing solutions to the business and you have to lead with a certain sense of confidence and courage um, so yeah fantastic morning uh, loved meeting uh, the students and the teachers at the school and uh, really nice to give something back and invest in the future um, it was yeah, a lovely experience so if you get the chance to do it go ahead so much fun and uh, yeah really enjoyable so have a great day. Thank you.